Well, I've been doing videos for this team because we have none. Oh my God, that's and what we're starting about social media? Um, no, actually this one was um, the benefits of our, we have an international team. We do have an international team. Actually, the longest, it's, I think it's over three years uh, that Lanny, who's in our marketing department, and Hannah have been with us for over three years. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. Yeah, they're based out of the Philippines, as a matter of fact. That's why they're not here. But that's that's they're why they're international. Yeah. They're actually, um, I say, a huge part of our business, because to be honest with you, I don't want to be the marketing department. Do I you? Care. No, I, no. Don't, I don't want to do any of that anymore. No. Yeah, you actually yeah, come from a background of that, and so I think when you came to look at this team, you were like, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. You know? that same with TC stuff. I just got done saying how little I do. You know, the TC obviously being on site is super important. Huge. Why is that? And we did. I just did a whole video on that. It's uh, because I don't have to do anything. I can just go and talk to my clients, and all my paperwork gets handled for me, which check out that video on why you should be on a team that has a full-time transaction coordinator. That's amazing. But this one, we actually have a full-time design team. We and do. marketing team. We and do. And that's, that's kind of what I want to talk about. Well, we actually just went over in our in our meeting um, we these flyers that they created, oh, which yes. were uh, based on uh, getting more listings through canceled, expired, or our Google PPC, mm -hmm. which are people looking online at the values of their home. But the marketing team um, listens to the sales team and then they design these flyers based on what the needs of the customer is. So literally we come up with a concept and then boom, out pops a cool Done. flyer. I love it. I know. Um, I know. I, this video, for example, I'm not gonna edit it. Oh, how does that feel? <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, all this stuff goes to the, to the team, which uh, is, is huge. So uh, I wanted to... Because that takes time. It, it takes time, it's huge. Like it, from the start to finish on a listing, Photos, video, editing, marketing is so crucial. You're giving me anxiety right now thinking about <laughs> all the time. So this is what I think about as a team leader for, for somebody as spectacular as Paul. If he were to do all of this stuff, do you know how much time he would not be with his clients or be, be getting new clients or being able to sit in an open house or doing a door knock or an event? He can't be there because he's sitting behind his computer and people that sit behind their computer, they're probably not selling as many homes. Or meeting people, which or, is huge in this industry. You need people to buy and sell homes. You do need people, mm. robots can't do Lesson. It. You know, the one thing I get a lot of, uh, so I talk to a lot of agents, I probably interview on average about 10 agents a week, and I get a lot of, you know what, I really love doing that. I like to do my own listing paperwork. I like doing my own social media. I want to do- yeah, I, I haven't had someone do it for them yet. But <laughs> So I asked him this question. I was like, so you're a marketing specialist? Yeah. Or you're a transaction coordinator? I'm sorry, I thought you were a, a realtor. realtor. Right? That's the big thing. So what I like to talk about is what's called leverage. And leveraging yourself gives you maximum opportunity to be able to hand off the things that you actually don't hold a license for, or maybe a college education, or maybe you do. But at the end of the day, you're a realtor. You're a realtor. You're a realtor. You sell homes, you, buy, you, you help people buy homes. That's right, you bring people together, yes. and you're managing a lot more. It's, you know, obviously, we just went on a listing appointment right. together. I thought this was an interesting listing appointment because there were so many moving parts, right? We had a, a, somebody pass away, Private, yeah. right? So there was a huge gap there on you coaching the clients on what happens when somebody passes away, making sure the title's okay, yeah. right? Title. Um, and then we get to the house and now all of a sudden we have solar. Other things. And there's some things. maintenance issues. Now, if Paul was busy, sitting there doing all the paperwork and, and doing all the marketing and um, having to be on the phone with the um, with uh, our like any tech problems things like that he's taking from that client where he cannot serve them and making sure they're making the right decision when they're selling their house he has to help them prep it he has to make sure that uh, they are aware of anything that's going to come at them when the house is being sold and so this stuff takes time. It does, it does, and everything takes time. From the, the photo I took of the front, and even simply not having to upload that myself. Like very, very. Yeah, it's like a click and go, right? It is. Yep, so I, I think mo most people um, just 
don't understand how to create more time for themselves and or they think to themselves too, I'm saving so much money by by doing this on yeah. my own. Does that make sense? Yeah, which I really, I mean, I, I, I don't agree with that in the sense no. and the value is so dramatic, like it's so big. I Let's start from the very beginning, I go to a house. I hand my business card. I didn't make the business card. I didn't print the business card. I, I took the photos. You didn't the order. It, you you okay. didn't order. I didn't do anything. Yeah. I have a business card that was set on my desk in a box. Here you go. <laughs> so Paul, I have a question for you. How much time have you saved this year alone by not doing your own marketing? A lot. A lot, a lot of time. Just lie. Hundreds, uh, <laughs> hundreds of hours. <laughs> hundreds of hours. All right. So Paul, let me ask you a serious question. How much time have you saved this year alone? by not having to do your own marketing. At least a full-time job. And I say a full-time job because it probably saves me at least 40 hours a week. So who is doing that for you? It's magic, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, um, our international team. We have international team that does all our photo, video editing, and marketing, things like that. I simply shoot and upload. I get to do any of the uh, content that I want and send it to them and they make it really cool. And so how many hours have you saved and then been able to put towards your clients. Like I said, at least a full-time job, this, this is huge, at least probably 40 hours a week on time that I would normally be sitting at a computer with maybe even headphones in, editing a video to make it look good, and instead I'm just making calls, making sure my clients are good, uh, showing houses, that's huge. I have more time to actually go to houses when I have clients that want to do six, seven houses in a day. I'm not rushing through it because I got to get that video done. It's just hang on my That's huge, do do. that's huge. It, it's leverage. Yeah.